Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, December the 14th, 2022, and this is episode 3951. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, No Fear. Stay tuned. No fear. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. That's the angel's <laughs> proclamation. I love one of the verses that I learned as a child. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Now, fear is a normal experience that we all experience. It's not a sin to experience fear. The problem is when we stay in it, when we get stuck in it. 1 John four, eighteen through 20 says this. There is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out fear. Because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If someone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? Have you experienced fear? Would you agree that this scripture says fear involves torment? It's something that we all deal with, right, from time to time. The crazy thing about fear is that it hits each of us differently. Some people are afraid of the dark. Others fear small spaces or <laughs> clowns. There are lots of different varieties of fear, but the thing that all fears have in common is that they, they stop us, they torment us. Fear stops us from doing more, saying more, being more. It holds us back. Fear will keep you from doing the things that God is calling you to do. So how do you go about curbing the fears that hold you back? Well, the best way is to focus on God's love. Today's verse shows us that love banishes fear. That means that the more we focus on the fact that God loves us and that he's provided everything we could ever need to do what he's called us to do, the more we realize that fear doesn't have a hold on us. Fear can't be effective in our lives if we're focused on God's love for us. God's love drives out all fear. It shows us that God will take care of us in every situation and every circumstance. So if you're struggling with fear today, take some time to think about God's incredible, amazing love. Find scriptures in the Bible that tell you how loved you are and stories that show how God came through for those who loved him. And as you focus on those things, fear will not be an issue. No fear. Father, thank you. Thank you that your love cast out fear. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a great Wednesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.